Hey everyone, welcome to Boom and Bigs TV. This is a video about the cruise port Nassau, Bahamas, and what not to do when you come to this port. So as you can see, they are doing construction at this port. They are rebuilding a brand new port area. So for now, it does look like this. But if you've been here in the past, you may remember that when you get off the ship, you are confronted with a lot of people, vendors trying to sell you souvenirs or tours or braid your hair, all kinds of things, really high pressure haggling. And even when you leave the main cruise port area, if you walk in town near the straw market or the shopping, you will be constantly approached by people trying to sell you things. And in my opinion, that is not an enjoyable experience. Many people know this, so they choose to either stay on the ship or get a shore excursion through their cruise line. We had just done a shore excursion to Blue Lagoon when we came to Nassau a few months ago. So this time we decided to save some money and just take the water taxi over to Paradise Island and walk to a free public beach called Cabbage Beach. The water taxi is only $5 per person per way. That is where we need to go. Yeah. Two, one way. We want two ways. $10. $20. Every 30 minutes, they return. Last one is at 4.30. They refundable. They're only good on the ferry. This is us walking to the ferry boat and you can get an idea of what it's like right outside the port area in Nassau. Uh, It's just a really busy area, and in my opinion, you'll definitely want to have something planned. This is one of the boats that they use to take people back and forth. It is the cheap and scenic way to get to Paradise Island if that's your goal. But you might need to wait more than 30 minutes for the boat to fill up enough for them to make the trip. The ride itself is really nice. The scenery is very beautiful. And more than likely, you will have a guide telling you a little bit about what you're looking at. If so, he will be collecting tips at the end. This is what it looks like when you get off the ferry boat. There are a few vendors set up asking you to look at their stuff, but nothing too crazy. From here, it's a short walk to the Atlantis Marina and Shops area and a little bit longer walk to Cabbage Beach. So once you leave this little vendor area, there are people asking you to take a taxi for $3 a person to Cabbage Beach. We didn't choose to do that because we wanted to walk. We wanted to film things along the way and just see all of the scenery and take it all in. Plus, walking is great exercise. But if you're coming here, you might take the taxi, but once you see what we experienced at this beach, you might have a change of plans altogether. On the way to Cabbage Beach, we took a walk through Marina Village. This is a really beautiful place if you just want to take a nice peaceful walk. I believe that no haggling is allowed in this area because not one person approached us to ask us to buy anything. The rest of the walk was nice, beautiful scenery. It was a little longer than we had expected and there were a few taxis that rode by yelling out the window asking if we wanted a ride. We passed an area that had some water and turtles so we stopped to look at them which was really nice. Finally, we made it to Cabbage Beach. So as you can see here, nothing too crazy. We know we need to walk up this hill and on the other side will be a beautiful sandy beach. 
We figured there would probably be people selling beach chairs, which we would just say no thank you to, but we never imagined it would be like this. Take a look at this, you guys. Uh, no, we just walk around doing videos, man. Yep. You want to try and drink and do a video with me? Getting a drink, man, in the pineapple? No, Jet ski is like it how you like it. Just tell it I repeat. You want to get the ball? Yeah. Get a drink with me, baby girl. I take you on the floor. No, thanks. All right, so brothers for the family. Drinks in the pineapple. We're just filming today. Thank you. 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 Thank So I don't know about you, but that's not my idea of a peaceful day at the beach, having so many people approach us to try to sell us everything under the sun, even people walking up and down the beach selling jewelry and things like that. We actually decided to walk down the beach the opposite direction to a resort where we acted like we were staying at the resort to walk through the pool area to escape through the lobby on the other side so that we didn't have to walk back through that same area. We actually decided to head back to the ferry station and head back over to the cruise ship and get back on board. So if you want to enjoy yourself without having people constantly asking you to buy stuff everywhere you turn, I would highly suggest having a shore excursion planned through your cruise line when you come to Nassau.